G'day everyone, Rach here from Rara's Stitching Realm. Welcome to my 30th of the month instalment. Uh, hello to a whole heap of new subscribers and good day to those returning. Um, because there is a whole heap of new, descri new describers, subscribers, is has someone shouted me out. Um, I am at the moment catching up on channels that I've been watching so I haven't watched a lot of new people um, so if you have come because someone recommended me could you please throw that down in the comments below so that I could go and thank them um, okay I don't have any haul uh, surprising I was thinking this morning I haven't actually brought anything that came out at the market expo thing yet I've got some things I'd like to get but I haven't actually done any shopping yet um, including PDFs which won't disappear so I'm not you know I'm not worried about those um, so I need to pull my finger out a little bit okay I have got five things to show you I've touched five things not brilliantly um, I'm still really wanting to read rather than stitch uh, but I have in my head I have given myself a little discipline plan for the day whereby I have some stitching in the afternoon and then I can read in the evening so I cover both bases um, sometimes I have to take my ha myself in hand like that so uh, c the first three are not really in any kind of order um, and as usual I just come in last minute and I don't even pull the cover out the other thing I want to say, um, I've had, I've struggled to figure out the photos in the video, um, uh, you know, showing where it was last time, and I'm I'm gonna take a little break from it while I get my head round it. So uh, there won't be any photos for the let's say the next month while I figure out the best way of doing it. Um, I just when. My problem is like today's project started yesterday. So if I was to show you, I put a photo in now, I've then got to photograph it again. It, it's, it does my head in. <laughs> so uh, there may not be any more photos ever or I will get my head around it and figure it out and they'll be back for the month in May. Uh, anyway, I digress. I'm like that. I also try to be a one take wonder even though I do now have some very basic editing skills I still try to aim to get it done in one go so sometimes it might not be as polished as some other people's videos that's just me it's who I am right the first project I gave some love to is Jane Marshall uh, this is a hands across the sea and it was a fundraiser for the New South Wales Royal Fire Service last year um, I don't know if it's still on the website or not. It was a PDF, but I know sometimes they put limitations on their PDFs. Uh, so, I do believe when I last showed it to you, I was up to this line there. Everything above my finger I had done, um, maybe not completely the outside border, I can't remember. So how are we going to do this in order to keep everything together? So this one's slightly done a little bit more. I'm stitching this on a 36 count, what is it, 36 count vintage country mocha with the call for, I'm using DMC. So that's where we're at, we've got the light blue line and a bit of the next one down. That's as much as I added. Because I wanted to read, not stitch. So I literally gave these, some of these literally got a thread a day to move them along and get some stitching done so I could go back to my book. I'm still loving these three dollar bags from the warehouse. Uh, where is my cat going? Susan. I saw and I did respond to your comment about showing the cats. Um, I will actually go against what I just said about photos of cross stitch. I will stick a photo of the cats in here. Uh, 
Um, I did say about getting some video, but I, I actually think that will be a complete dog's breakfast. <laughs> so um, I'll just stick in a photograph and uh, maybe once in a while if people are okay, I'll, if, the, if I've got something cute, um, I will stick in a photograph. But they are now quite happily in and out, except I don't leave, leave them out at night, only because we're going into the winter. Um, and my mother has fears about them bringing home rodents, which my last cat used to do. He should have been on the payroll. Um, right, the next one I stitched. Oh, and there goes the other one. <laughs> Something has got their attention and they've both gone in the right same direction. Right. The next one I gave a little bit of love to is Mary Wearat. Uh, no, that's who it's by, Modern Folk Embroidery. Mary Wearat. And the last time you saw it, I had completed the tree border. So I was looking to start this inside border. So, I still need to cut this bit of fabric down too. So I've got a little bit of that done. I was actually going to come across, there's another line in here somewhere, but it's actually a different colour, so I didn't do that. Um, so. That's a lot of that. This, I think, is just on, I, I believe this is a 32 count, and I would hazard a guess that it's lamb's wool. And it was probably an off cut of something. Um possibly I don't remember no according to this I actually wrote something down but I didn't use that for this did I no ignore me okay nope wrong bag okay then where was I at with this one this is Sarah Watson, whilst Iris naps. And I think where I was at with this is, um, this is the side that starts. So everything above my finger is done. So I was on this line of, starting to do this line of alphabets. So whilst Iris naps, Sarah Watson. Uh, and how far did I get with that line of alphabet? Oh, nearly all the way to the end. In fact, is that all the way to the end? There is something, yes. So I've got the whole alphabet of that line. I've got that added in. Um, and there's a couple of symbols that go at the end there. So, so there's actually only on this now another line of letters, which is her name. Uh, a couple of borders in between, and then we get into all the symbols at the bottom. I don't actually know, and I don't think, I think it's still a bit too early to tell which one is the closest to be finishing now. Um, yeah, it's, it'll either be Sarah, this one or Jane Marshall will be the next ones. One of, one of those will be the next one to finish. Okay, and that was the end of the rotation, and then we went back to the top, which is Lucy Calcutt. This was a bit woeful. A bit woeful. So this is Lucy Calcutt. I've been doing forever and a day, uh, and I am... I have got all of that, all of the border, her name and stuff up here. So I've just got these two elements to finish and then I have finished the first three pages of this. I feel a sneeze. Uh-oh. Try not to sneeze on video, Rachel. I'll fold it up first and then I'll hold it out. Because it's a big piece. It's a 32 count but a light exemplar. So I didn't do very well on this, but I did do some stitching while I watched a cricket match the other day. You know, he's, all the threads are in the way and you're not going to see him. I stitched a parrot. <laughs> so woeful, 
this is all I have done. So I've done the parrot and the start of the tree below. There are, as I said, there are only two more elements to do. This is what it looks like currently. I can hear my father calling the cats, so hopefully you can't hear my father calling the cats. I don't know what part of I'm making a video. You need to keep your mouth shut. He doesn't hear. Well, he doesn't hear. That's the problem. Okay. And if you're new to me and you're wondering why I'm saying that as a grown woman about my father, <laughs> I care for my mother who has dementia. So I live with my parents at the moment. Okay, and then we get to new start time. So if you remember a couple of weeks ago, I showed you, was it the last video or the one before, the kitted um, samplers that I had primarily got from uh, the country sampler club thing. Um, so I spent, this is, must be day two, yesterday was day one. So the day before that, Sunday, my time, um, I laid them on the floor in front of me and I just looked at them throughout the day and looked at, it just kept an, a mind on what I kept looking at, if that makes sense. What, what did my eye keep going back to? And that was the one I decided to do. And this was the one. Jane Plenderleith, Plenderleith, 1838 by Needlework Press. And I do believe this chart is now available because um, I would have got this last year sometime. I'm sure I've seen the chart on 123 Stitch. So if you follow me on Instagram and you saw my little tease, did you know what it was? Uh, and this is, this came kitted. Um, it calls for straw linen, Weeks Dye Works straw linen. Uh, and it uses Weeks Dye Works threads. I don't know enough about linens to know if this is actually straw or if this is a conversion, but this is where we are at. Oops, this is where we are at. Um, luckily, so far, it looks like it's a pro uh, easy repeat. The gaps between the berries and the leaves are all the same. So m my plan for today and tomorrow is just to keep working on the outside border. I'll do some across the top um, and I'll do probably what I will do. So I've started over here. I will actually come across and start down here and then I can work in the middle and just bring the border down as I get to each area. There are eyelet stitches um, in this band here in the middle if you can see there's some dark lines those are eyelet, st eyelet stitches and I believe this row is that right yeah the row directly below the border they're eyelet stitches as well I think that is it so looking at this piece of fabric and looking at the picture they don't look this doesn't look like it's the same fabric as that but I don't know I don't know enough and they don't tell you the names of the fabrics that they put in so so that is my new start uh, it'll get some love this afternoon and again tomorrow uh, and then we'll be back into the rotation as normal which the next one is the red and green sampler by somebody <laughs> uh, yeah so that is my lot that's where I'm at um, I will catch you again around about the 10th of April um, I don't have a calendar in front I do have a calendar in front of me what day of the week is the 10th of April it's a Saturday okie doke cool Okay, well, I hope that you all have a good stitching. Uh, it'll be 11 days because there's 31 days this month, isn't there? Yep. Uh, that you enjoy Easter if you celebrate it. And uh, I will catch you again around about the 10th. Thanks, everyone. Bye for now.